Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today I'm doing another episode of Matt Rants, and today we're talking about the Nintendo Switch Lite. This news just broke hours ago. Breaking news, everybody. So all of those rumors about the Nintendo Switch having a mini version were correct. We don't know too much about it as of yet, so sadly no specs, no talk about new games for it or uh, inaccessibility with other games. What we do know right now is that there are several different colors you can see right now on the screen, and also Nintendo has to stated that it has quote unquote improved battery life, whatever that might mean. Uh, we uh, Yes, better battery life, okay, but by how much? We don't know just yet. And what we do know, looking at it, of course, the Joy-Cons are built in. Again, we've heard these rumors, haven't really covered them on the channel because a lot of other channels had gotten the chance to cover it before us, so we thought, you know what, let's, let's let them cover it. Not sure what else we could add to the conversation, but at this point, we do know that the Joy-Cons are built in. They have gotten rid of the stand. Also, of course, as you know, with this being a light, uh, I would imagine you'd know, but if not, again, article down below in the description box. So the Switch Lite cannot connect to your television, so it is simply a handheld through and through. And from the looks of any of these promotional shots, it does look like it is a smaller Switch as well. We have been told that it is lighter, but being smaller, I think, would definitely benefit the Switch. As much it is, as, as it is considered a handheld console in name and, you know, in definition and, and, and in practice, this I, I disagree. I mean, look, maybe it's just me, small hands, also having to buy a lot of other stuff because it's not a clamshell design, so I feel like the screen's gonna get scratched, so I have to buy all these accessories to take it on the go, but I feel as if, especially being a New Yorker, taking the, the Switch on the go, taking it out on a train, feel like I'm just kind of waving at people saying, please, mug me. Please, if you if you'd like to, it's right here. It's kind of hard to hold and key, you know, and trying to you know play it and all that. It's like yeah, just you know take take it away from me. So on on planes and on trains, I think it's definitely like certain types of trains. I definitely feel like it can be considered a handheld. But again, I, I think that a smaller version of the Switch, as we're seeing right now, does seem like it it would be better in the uh, as considered a handheld, if you will. So hoping that it's not just people with big hands holding it. It actually is smaller as well. I do think that the colors look, look nice and also something to mention that I should have mentioned earlier, we have a hundred dollar price drop so it will be two hundred dollars instead of the standard three hundred dollars. So as someone who bought a Switch for uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and for Pokemon Let's Go and of course we have Sword and Shield coming up soon as well, I I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to buy another one. However, this is coming out September 20th. That is the month of my birthday. Damn it all to hell. Uh, I just, I, I, I cannot, I don't want to give up my Switch because I do like the ability to connect it to my television when I'm at home and have it kind of be a home console, but to have a smaller Switch to bring on the go, if there is no, uh, if the games that are currently on the market can still work with the Switch and any future games do work, at least first party Nintendo games, do work with the Switch, uh, the Switch Mini, I, I, I don't think it is the worst thing to buy. But either way, as we're wrapping this video up, tell us what you think down below. Are you going to get the Switch Mini? Do you What do you want from the Switch Mini? Because we've heard some rumors that it might actually be a little bit better than the Switch in terms of uh, video quality. And uh, tell again, just tell me what you want in a Switch. I personally would, if this thing had Twitch support, which I would assume a Mini would not, but if it did... That is something that would draw me in, the YouTuber. Uh, or YouTube support, basically live stream support enabled. That would that would definitely uh, draw me in. But either way, tell me what you think down below about this news, about this Switch Mini, Switch Lite technically, of course, with the, the theme of light handheld consoles. People are saying this is basically uh, trying to replace the 3DS. Not sure if I agree with that necessarily, just simply due to the fact that uh, 3DS games are not playable through it, and we don't really have a large amount of 3DS games on the actual Switch. And I know that might seem silly. Of course, every new handheld console is there to replace the old one, but usually there is backwards compatibility, at least with the last generation. That's kind of been the theme with, you know, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, GBA, DS, 3DS. So that's usually been a theme, but in this case, it seems like it's not. So hopefully... Maybe we do it ha with the Switch Mini. We have access to some of our digital games on the 3DS. Would be interesting. Not really gonna uh, hold my breath there, but would be kind of interesting. Again, tell me what you think down below. I might, I might be picking one up. I, I, I never wanted to. I have my Switch. I thought I was good, but 
$200, that's, to me, that's a deal. So, we'll find out. <laughs> Follow us and uh, see what happens with that in the future. So, love you all. Take care. Please remember to like and subscribe. And tune in next time for another episode of Matt Rants. Alright guys, so, see ya.